We're going to be hearing a great deal about John Lennon over the next few months. October 9th would have been John's 70th birthday, and many of his solo albums will all be re-released. And December, of course, will mark the 30th anniversary of his murder. So this means we're also going to see media attention lavished on John's killer, currently up for parole yet again. So before the fall even begins, I'd like to ask the American news media just a little favor. Uh, could you guys please stop saying the killer's name? This guy killed John Lennon because he wanted fame to have his name next to John's in the history books. This means that every time you repeat his way too famous three name name, you're actually rewarding him. The guy's now 55, 15 years older than John Lennon ever got to be, and he deserves to be forgotten. You can still talk about him, just stop saying his name. Fundamentalist Beatle fans haven't said this guy's name for years. They know enough to deny him the eminence he so wished for. Plus, think about this. We're a nation of fame junkies. We already know people will do anything now to be celebrities, including make out with Ray J or pretend that they respect Donald Trump. So every time you say this killer's name, you are sending a message, media, that you can be famous forever if you kill the right person. Go ahead and talk about the guy all you want, just don't say his name. Paul McCartney calls him the jerk of all jerks. I recommend something a bit more rustic, that douchebag. If we could just turn on the news and hear that douchebag who killed John Lennon was denied parole yet again this week, I'm sure we could be a very proud and happy nation. And if you're feeling compassionate for him, I understand, feel free to call him that lost, confused, emotionally disturbed and tormented douchebag who almost ruined Catcher in the Rye for the rest of us. Just don't say his name. It's bad enough the Kardashians get to be celebrities. I know it's asking a lot, media, but follow the Beatle fans' lead on this. It could make a real difference, and you may say I'm a dreamer for wanting a murderer to fade away into oblivion, but I'm not the only one.